All right, what's up you guys today? We are back here with another video and right off the bat I just got to apologize for whatever reason my webcam It is just no longer functioning with my PC the files just do not want to cooperate anymore for whatever reason But have no fear. I am buying a new PC Should only be about two weeks that we can't have a face cam on our videos But yeah, once I get the new PC everything should be figured out. It all should be fine I don't know what happened. I don't know if there was a software update that I didn't see but yeah You guys for whatever reason nowadays my webcam it just does not want to function with my my recording software so for today in the next few videos we won't have a webcam on here but nonetheless today's video I'm actually really excited about I've seen a number of you guys want to see me try to go 12 and 0 with the budget squad and that is exactly what we got here today so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you guys a quick little overview of our lineup and I'm gonna take you guys on our 12 and 0 run that I have gone on the past couple days trying to get that new pink diamond West unsold on my account so yeah man I figured a lot of you guys have some budget squads out there maybe you guys are sleeping on some really good budget cards I did put this squad together for about 30 to 35k and 30 to 35k for 10 cards right here I mean, that's like a really good deal. This is a really solid budget squad So yeah, before I give you guys a quick little rundown of our lineup I just want to say we are on the road to 30,000 subs So if you guys haven't decided to hit that sub button yet Take a quick second do that and also definitely drop a like on this video If you guys want to see me play more with budget squads trying to go 12 and 0 with budget squads Whatever the case may be, but yeah, I'm just gonna get right into a quick overview of what our lineup is You know what I'm saying why I picked these players for their positions at point guard we got this ruby rex chapman he's coming with gold limitless range and hall of fame post riser he also has a really good release as well so yeah that's what we got at point guard at shooting guard ruby nick young i've already gotten some gameplay on him coming with gold limitless range a really good shooter right there and then starting at small four this is going to be our lockdown defender in our lineup standing at six nine this sapphire cory brewery is coming with really good defensive stats so if someone is running Giannis or LeBron at point guard, that is when you switch Corey Brewer onto them. Just have them lock them down because obviously Rex Chapman only 6'4". And at power four, we got this Ruby Thurl Bailey, who honestly, low-key, one of the best cars in our lineup. He's a really good card. A stretch big that can knock down a three. He's got a good release, and he also can grab some rebounds for you. And then at center, you guys already know Mo Bamba, one of the best Rubies in the game. Standing at seven feet, he can also stretch the floor. And then coming off our bench, Sapphire Terrence Ross to Bailey, one of the best Sapphires in our lineup. Potentially also the most expensive card. So if you guys are looking on the auction house, I've seen him listed at 15K sometimes, so definitely don't pay that much for him. I would look for him 8k and below if you can pick him up for that price i think that's pretty good for him and then backup shooting guard we got this ruby josh richardson who comes with gold deep range dead eye and he has really good defensive stats back up small four we got kevin knox who is a really good scorer kind of look at him as kd because he is also standing at 6 9 like kd does in this game backup power forward is ruby darius miles honestly one of the best rubies in the game as well and he's going to be your lockdown defender off the bench so once again if someone's running Giannis or a really good point guard you can switch him onto him he has really good defensive stats and then at back up center we do have this emerald chi who is also a really big center that can stretch the floor for us so yeah you guys overall we were able to put up this lineup together for about 30 to 35k and i also want to mention that i am running amethyst mike d'antoni and also running the wizards playbook for this lineup and you guys real quick i do want to mention that i did add some minutes onto these bronze players you don't want to have this squad as a 99 overall basically if i'm going to be running a 99 overall squad obviously i just want to go out there with this pink diamond lineup so definitely give your bronze players some minutes so you can reduce that overall load bit so you're not getting matched up against pink diamond squads the entire time and yeah we're just gonna get right into this 12 and 0 run that i went on the past couple days see if we can accomplish this with our budget squad right here so for our first game honestly not the best squad and you're gonna realize that you really don't get matched up against too many cheesy squads with this lineup right here as long as you do reduce that overall to something lower than 99 because like i said you the last thing that you want to be doing is getting matched up against full pink diamond teams all the time so you guys can see out here we got a lot of shooting in our lineup to start off we need to come out with quick three three balls on the game then later on we get our bench out there and we're gonna throw up this lob to cheese sitting down low a really big center who i'm surprised can knock down the three ball i think he comes with the 82 three but yeah he's able to knock down a bunch of threes for us out there so once again playing some defense down low, throwing the ball up here. I think I see Darius Malzer. You know what? This is actually an and one finish from Josh Richardson, able to get that one to go for us. We're able to get out with a quick lead right here, pushing a lead up to 12 points, and then coming down on this next possession, I see Swaggy P 
Nick Young again for a three ball in transition. So we were able to pick up our first win pretty easy right there. And then jumping into our second game. So this second squad was a lot better. As you guys can see, he's come with a bunch of amethyst. But once again, nothing too much to worry about because I know we don't have any amethyst in our lineup, but I do see a lot of these cards as borderline amethyst slash diamond. So as you guys can see right there, we're able to get a finish from Nick Young. Also grabbing a rebound here, pushing it up in transition. We got Mo Bamba. We got some really good ball movement here to find Ruby Rex Chapman in the corner. That car gets some really good animations. He also has a really good release. So, yeah, you guys definitely pick up that card. Have him a main focus in your lineup. And then on this possession right here, we're going to get a steal with Nick Young as well. Finding Mo Bamba running the floor at seven foot tall, however tall he is. He has really good athleticism, especially for a budget card. Like, you guys, that card is just really nice. He runs the break for you. And as you guys can see, two rage quits in our first two games now, 2-0. On this 12 0 run right here with the budget squad trying to find ourselves our third game your main focus with this is you don't want to see anyone reducing their overall with the full pink diamond squad like as long as you don't run into those teams i think you have a really good chance at going 12 0 with this team now if i were to get matched up against some pink diamond squads i'm still pretty confident in a lot of these cards abilities but the thing is obviously pink diamonds they're pink diamonds for a reason their stats are going to be really juiced especially if you get an off ball they're going to play some really good defense on you so yeah you guys through our first three games we don't get matched up against any good team so we're gonna get off to a quick 3-0 start right here and I'm pretty sure for this fourth game we finally do run into some diamonds right here we're gonna see what our matchup is so yeah there are some diamonds and pink diamonds we got some amethyst in there as well so once again not the most overpowered squad definitely a better team overall than ours but we're just gonna come out here we're gonna play confident with our squad we already know what we want to do on offense And then bam, right there, we're just gonna lurk a little bit, come up with that steal with Mo Bamba, finish it down low. So much athleticism for a seven foot big man, you like to see that. And then we're gonna dump it down to him, get ourselves an and one finish. Now with an eight point lead on the ball game, our bench is on the floor now, knocking down a free throw with Sapphire, Terrence Ross, and then bam, we're in the passing lanes in a little press right here, finishing off that card really nice as well for a Sapphire. Like his post drives are badge, I noticed. You guys are going to see him get some dope dunks in this game, but right there, Josh Richardson attacking all the way to the rim, causing ourselves another rage quit, and bam, going into another game right here. You guys can see we're not getting matched up against crazy pink diamond teams. We have ourselves a budget squad, but every game that we go out here, I'm just playing really confident. I'm just sticking to our game plan and trying to get all the way to the rim right here. Rex Chapman going to pass that one out to Thorough Bailey, who knocks it down, lightly contested. That card is so good. I'm surprised that he isn't an amethyst the way that he plays but as you guys can see right there rex chapman getting a green release quick little step back right here man look at that release that one wasn't even green but we still do knock that one down and later on with our bench out there on the floor we knock down that corner three 30 to 6 this game ends up being 72 to 33 before he does decide to rage quit so now our record is standing at 5 and 0 oh. we're going to be halfway done with this as long as we can pick up the dub in this game and definitely the best team that we're going to be going up against so far so starting off right here that Corey brewer card do not sleep on his athleticism he does get some really good animations going to the rim also hitting a three ball but this one was a slower start for us you know what i'm saying you guys can see we're down here we're just trying to chip away at his lead a little bit by a little bit once again we're down by three in this third quarter now nick young pulling up heavily contested i'm honestly surprised that goes in usually heavies don't really go in especially with ruby cards but we are able to knock it down and this bucket right here pretty much triggered a run for us for the rest of this game he had an interesting lineup sometimes bronzes were in so i wasn't too sure what he was doing with all that but later on in the fourth quarter look at this 360 dunk from terrence ross you guys i'm telling you that sapphire card easily one of the best sapphires in the game and once again going to the rim here dunking on pink diamond odin down low and then we're going to cap it off with the green release from josh richardson so we're going to knock down that three ball with josh richardson and we're going to end up picking up a big dub up against a really good squad so as you guys can see we do have the ability to take down diamonds and pink diamonds with our lineup as long as you take smart shots you know what i'm saying stick to your game plan run some plays there with the wizards playbook get some open three balls you should be fine pretty much 
up against any team as long as you don't run up against a full pink diamond squad with like Giannis at point guard and all that but this next game once again not the most overpowered team we're gonna get some big man play right here just passing it back and forth third Bailey finishing strong at the rim force to start things off and then two to two he's reaching in the backcourt so Rex Chapman gonna come up hit that green light from deep that gold limitless range badge on that card really comes in handy as a point guard and then once again in the corner Thurl Bailey there it is he's a pretty big focus in our offense and if you guys know we got to get Mo Bamba involved on this one a quick little pick and pop so later on in the second quarter we got ourselves a 14 point lead gonna push the ball up here we're gonna get Chi the ball and we just got to be patient with it we're gonna pass it around a little bit we're gonna hit Josh Richardson on a little backdoor cut right here he's gonna finish strong for us so we got some really good movement out of our squad for a second I thought we got a rage quit right there but this dude decided to stick it out for a little bit longer Terrence Ross able to knock down that three ball and yeah this guy basically only scored 20 points on the ball game we scored 85 another easy win for our budget squad on this 12 and 0 run so now sitting at 7 0 hopping into game eight right here we're gonna see what we get matched up against another 96 overall squad he does have a lot of similar players that we do so i was pretty worried about this game going in obviously this dude knows about the really good budget cards in the game so i was expecting him to be a pretty solid player right here first possession coming out just seeing what his sh shot selection is going to be looking like and he doesn't take that good of a shot so we're going to come down try to capitalize as much as we can because once again i'm not too sure what this guy's skill level is but one thing that was really weird that he did was he put all the bigs on the guards and he put all the guards on the big so right off the bat i did have to get mo bamba involved on the fast break right here we got ourselves rex chapman going in for a really good driving dunk animation like that car gets some crazy animation sometimes and then later on and in the second you guys can see we got ourselves a pretty decent lead we're gonna find josh richardson open for a play right there green light at the top of the key and then later on darius miles our best defender debatably in our lineup we're gonna throw up a lob here to josh richardson 8 to 25 final score 63 to 18 we got some really good defense on our team but yeah you guys we're just not going up against the most overpowered squads it's 12 and 0 run so far it's been working out for us and then we go up against this team right here a bunch of diamonds in his lineup so i'm not gonna lie i was a little bit worried we came out pretty slow start but luckily i'm able to get a steal right there swaggy p gonna finish this one at the rim for a nice layup right there but yeah this is probably the best defender that we went up against especially early on in the game you guys can see trying to throw a lob up to mo bamba right there he just couldn't knock it down and then he is gonna knock down a three ball so we were down pretty early but once again sometimes with the budget squad you just got to stay composed understand your players aren't going to be in tip top you know what i'm saying they're not pink diamonds they're not going to be playing amazing defense knocking down all their shots all the time so you just got to stay committed to your game plan like i do right here find an open three ball in the corner running a lot of screens trying to get some people to cut in for you finding anything that's open out here then in the fourth quarter playing some really good defense we're trying to break away with this game right here terrence ross throwing it up to Darius Miles we're going to slow it down swing it back here and look at this finish from Darius Miles I don't know how he was able to get that one to go but I'll take it one of the best rubies in the game and then bam we're going to get Chi involved look at that release right there from a 7-1 Emerald Center doing some work for us now with the nine point lead we're going to run that fast break beautifully Darius Miles run to the court for us and we do get a rage quit once again up against the all diamond squad we are 9-0 so this next matchup up against a full aim with the squad once again better cars than ours technically based off of their overall but I'm really confident with the team that we got out here I feel like we're running with a bunch of amethyst and diamonds ourselves quick start right here as well in this game we hit a three ball with Mo Bamba, and then we're going to kick it over here to Corey Brewer on the break, who knocks down a mid-range for him. Something to keep in mind about that dude's release, it is a little bit slower. So when you start pulling up with Corey Brewer, definitely keep in mind that he has a slow release. But you guys could see that game was 29-2, to got ourselves a rage quit, now 10-0. We got two more games on this quest for Pink Diamond West Unselled. And bro, look at these teams that we're going up against. Like, I'm really not even tripping this game. We're going to come out, knock in a three with Rex Chapman. He's going to get it going for us. This 11-0 game, I don't know. I just came out really confident. I felt like we had this one in the bag. I was only focusing on our last win. We just had to put this guy away real quick. I was focused on our last game, really hoping 
that we don't go up against a crazy pink diamond squad so here we go man it all comes down to this one moment right here does 2k decide to match us up with Giannis at point guard a dude that reduces overall to like a 55 over our rating with the best cards in the game or do we get a reasonable matchup? And here we go, man. We do honestly get a reasonable matchup now. I know it is a 99 overall squad, but I'm really not tripping. And look at the first play of the game. As soon as he did that, as soon as he committed that turnover, I knew that we were gonna win this game. I just had a bunch of confidence after seeing that. Like, if he's gonna be making mistakes like that, we're definitely not gonna be making mistakes like that. Mo Bamba knocking down a three ball for us. We gotta hit him one more time on this pick and pop perfect release i know we haven't really got any greens with him but as long as you can get full whites with that card he will knock him down and look at thorough bailey on the glass up against pink diamond george mike and we get that one to finish right there i'm chilling i'm lurking in the passing lane give me that steal as well let me get a little drop step right here go to the free throw line so yeah we pretty much controlled this game from the very start it was all based off of that dude's first turnover we're getting out on fast breaks here final score 109 to 56 so yeah man we're able to complete this 12 and 0 run for the new player of the month card pink diamond west unsell with a budget squad there it is and checking out what our rewards are we got 10,000 mt we get 25 tokens pink diamond dan Issel that we already have but there it is pink diamond was unsold who i have not got on my account now if you guys want to see some gameplay on that card i was able to get it on a subs account when he first came out the card honestly pretty dope but once again as center who is only six seven i feel like the only way he's going to be really usable is at power forward maybe even small forward so yeah, you guys, 12-0 with this budget squad. We're able to get the Pink Diamond West unsell. Definitely drop a like on this video if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Road to 30K. But I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Done saying I'm done playing. Last time is on the outro. Stuck in the house, need to get out more. I've been stacking up like I'm fundraising.